Hello, hello. Okay. I believe I am live. I am going to get my notes pulled up and we will get rocking and rolling. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. My name is Chelsea Hester. I am a food and body image coach, a mindfulness based food and body image coach. So I work with my clients on helping them heal their relationships with food and their body image. And I am so honored to be in here chatting with you all today. And if you are not watching this live and you're catching the replay, totally fine. Um, feel free to drop any questions in the comments and I will make sure to answer all of them. I will get back to you. And if there are topics that you want more information on, if there's something that I did not cover, feel free to leave that in the messages or the comments as well. I wanna make sure that this is super relevant to you. And um, so we're talking about preparing for a boudoir photo shoot. And I specialize in mindset work and helping with comparing your mental and emotional state for um, dealing with any concerns, any insecurities or fears that might come up during a photo shoot. So the main message you're going to hear me say today, and all of my tips and tricks kind of fall into this category, is setting yourself up for success. So a lot of the work that you're going to want to do before a lot of the work you're going to do for the photo shoot has to do with preparing before the event. So doing that work ahead of time, doing prep work, getting your mind um, in a more positive, prepared, for lack of a better word, place um, before walking in the doors. One of the reasons for this is because when you are triggered or in any sort of an emotionally reactive place, you are not going to be able to tap into your what we call wise mind, where this is where um, your prefrontal cortex is online, where you're able to problem solve and make decisions. So if you're in the middle of a photo shoot and all of a sudden your nerves are getting the best of you and, you know, you're it's that kind of like fun, anxious, excited feeling uh, that I'm sure you're familiar with if you've done photo shoots before, that is not going to be the best time to start problem solving. How do I handle, oh shoot, I'm feeling really insecure, or oh shoot, I'm feeling really uncomfortable in this pose. What do I do? In the moment is not going to be the best time to start um, trying to come up with a plan, right? So we want to do that work uh, before before you get to the photo shoot. You wanna already have tips and strategies in place for calming yourself down or giving yourself a pep talk. All right, so what are some of those ways? What are some of those things you can do ahead of time? First, how many tips do I have for you? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five tips for you. Um, here's number one. Number one, try on your outfits ahead of time and make sure you're comfortable in them. You wanna be physically comfortable so that you can relax and enjoy the photo shoot rather than you know feeling a bra digging into your skin. So you wanna be physically comfortable. Um, and that might be the most obvious component, but you also wanna be comfortable emotionally. So getting in front of a camera in your lingerie, it's gonna probably feel unfamiliar unless you've like been doing this your whole life, which I haven't, I don't know if you have, but um, it's probably gonna feel a little unfamiliar, somewhat uncomfortable, just in nature, that's how it is, right? But you can still be very intentional about choosing outfits that you feel sexy in. So don't wear something solely because you think it will make for a good picture or don't choose something solely because you think that um, this will look sexy. Well, the finished product's going to look sexy. Well, that's not going to um, just because it's going to look sexy in the end. You want to enjoy the photo shoot itself. You want to enjoy the process of the photo shoot. You want to enjoy the journey, not just the product. 
So if you're feeling insecure the whole photo shoot, that's going to come across in the photos and it's going to impact your experience of the photo shoot. So be really strategic in the outfits that you're choosing. Make sure you feel comfortable and confident in them above all else. Because your confidence and how comfortable you feel in the outfits themselves, that will translate into your photographs. So pick out your outfits ahead of time. Try them on at home. You know, do a little move around in them. Stand in front of the mirror. Get a feel for what it's like to move in those outfits. Are they riding up, you know, riding up your legs? Or is, it, is the strap always falling off? Practice, give a trial run, and make sure you feel really confident and sexy in those outfits. Number two, you're going to want to give yourself a mental pep talk before the photo shoot. Even the most confident body, you know, even I've done a lot of work on my body image, and like getting in front of a camera is still uncomfortable for me, um, especially if I've got like something going on, you know. I'm having a bad hair day or I've got some surprise acne like I need to give myself a pep talk so this could look a number of ways you could listen to a guided meditation um, I will link to my favorite free app for guided meditations um, you could listen to a, they have you can sort them by categories so you could find a confidence one or a self-love one self-compassion and listen to a guided meditation before or get yourself in a zone before the photo shoot. You could also write in a journal. Give yourself a little, like legitimately, like write yourself a letter, a pep talk letter of like, you're gonna kill it. Like you were so sexy, you know, your spirit is above all, your spirit is the most important quality about you. Like that's what's gonna shine through in these photos. Like really give yourself um, some love in that letter or that journal entry. You could say some affirmations. So you could pick a mantra or an affirmation that um, you know helps you feel excited and confident. Something like, I am strong, I am bold, I am brave, um, I am sexy, I am empowered, I am, you know, there is only one me, whatever it is, and just have those affirmations playing through your head. Um, you Are a Badass is one of my favorite books. It is full of great quotes. If you wanted to pull out some affirmations from that book, um, I'll make a note of that as well. I'll include all of these links in the notes. Um, so You Are a Badass is a great book. Insight Timer is my favorite meditation app. Okay, pep talk. Tip number three, eat food. Do not deprive yourself of food on the day of your photo shoot because you think that maybe it'll make you look smaller or maybe you'll feel better in your body. Um, that's not true. Like you not eating on the day of your photo shoot is not going to impact how you look. Uh, that is just a false belief. Um, maybe you will feel a little more empty or maybe you'll feel a little lighter, but you won't actually look any different. And in fact, um, it's going to have negative impacts during the photo shoot. So it's critical that you have food in your body for energy and also to help with any nerves. Um, the goal is to enjoy the photo shoot. You cannot enjoy a photo shoot if you are hungry. Um, it's okay to avoid certain foods that you know might make you physically uncomfortable. For me, that's raw vegetables. I know that raw vegetables and dairy are kind of hard for my body to digest. So I might be strategic and not eat those the day of the photo shoot, but you do need to eat. And make sure you bring snacks. I'm not exactly sure how long LaToya's, um, LaToya and Key's photo shoots are, but if they're more than an hour or two, I would bring snacks. Um, because you are going to be nervous and having food there, you just want to make sure that you're hydrated. So bring water and bring snacks. Tip number three. This is an important one. Figure out your emotional boundaries or your physical boundaries and your needs ahead of the photo shoot 
and then communicate them clearly to LaToya and Key. So what do I mean by boundaries and needs? Are there any positions or postures that you truly want to avoid? Do you want LaToya to comment on your body and your beauty during the photo shoot while she's snapping some pics? Do you want her to, you know, oh yeah, you look so sexy. Oh yeah, work it girl, man. I love the way your, you know, your breasts or your belly are shining in that light. Do you want her to comment on your beauty or would you prefer if she did not make references to how your body looks? You have that choice. Um, they are photography experts, but you are the expert on your body and your individual needs. Do you need a water break? Do you need extra encouragement and support for while you're in one of your more daring outfits? Ask for it. Ask for what you need. Tell them your needs. Make requests. The worst thing they can do is say no. But that is so much better than going through a whole photo shoot wishing that something had been different or going through the whole photo shoot and feeling really uncomfortable in this one position that you know LaToya took like 100 pictures of, right? Like it is very important that you know ahead of time um, some things that you either want or don't want and then make sure you communicate that to them. Um, especially like, again, coming back to what I specialize in is body image and um, how you feel in your body. So really like do spend some time before the photo shoot figuring out like what where do I feel really strong in my body? What postures do I feel really confident in? What postures, what parts of my body am I really proud of and really want to accentuate? Like go into the photo shoot knowing that, and then if there are things that you feel that kind of the opposite are maybe triggering or really insecure, bring out a lot of your insecurities, make sure you communicate that with LaToya. She can either help you, and key when she's doing your makeup, they can either help you work with those postures or they can avoid them altogether. And that's your choice. You know, do you want to work with it or do you want to avoid it? Um, I know firsthand from photo shoots that it's easy to just say yes and okay whenever the ph photographer tells me to move a certain way. I also know firsthand from being on the other end, when a client or a model communicates their preferences and needs that I'm not helping, so that I'm not guessing the whole time, it is very helpful. Everyone in the room wants for this to be a fun and comfortable experience for you. If you're noticing yourself feeling really insecure, embarrassed, or self-conscious about your body, ask if you can pause and talk through it a little bit to see if they can support you. I feel confident that LaToya would totally be down for this. Um, you're in this group for a reason. You know that LaToya and Key are there to support you emotionally as well as professionally throughout the shoot, so use them. Make a little vow to yourself that you will speak up throughout the shoot if you're feeling uncomfortable or if you have a request about a pose or an outfit. And last but not least, your fifth little takeaway tip, um, find a higher purpose to your photo shoot. So maybe on the surface level, um, probably like what LaToya and Key are advertising, right? Why to get a photo shoot. So maybe on the surface level, you're getting it done because you wanna give these pictures as a gift to someone. Or maybe you're getting them done because you want some sexy pictures for your bedroom. Um, but see if they're, again, do a little work, do a little inner deep work, reflection, um, but see if there is a deeper or more empowering meaning for this photo shoot. Is it so that you can feel courageous and try something new and step outside of your comfort zone? Maybe perhaps you're in recovery from an eating disorder and this is like you giving the middle finger to diet culture or to your eating disorder. Maybe this is you, you know, saying like F you diet culture, like you've screwed me up and I am not taking it any longer. And this is you rebelling against that. Or maybe you're doing this photo shoot in honor of someone or in honor of a certain part of yourself. Find a really specific reason that you can connect to. 
And then during the photo shoot, if you start noticing yourself feeling insecure or self-conscious, if you start noticing those thoughts arising, remind yourself of the bigger reason that you're doing this photo shoot. Remind yourself why it's important for you to show up exactly as you are today, exactly as you are in your body, proud, authentic, and beautiful. What is the deeper meaning for this photo shoot in your life? What role does this photo shoot play in your life besides giving you an awesome, sexy, beautiful photo to like put on the wall or to, you know, get, give your partner an album of like, what does it, what? What does it mean to you? For me, if I were to do one of these photo shoots, it would be reclaiming my truth and reclaiming my authentic, unretouched, curvy, you know, that I've been dealing with some chronic pain and some chronic, some health issues recently. And my body has changed shape as a result of what I've been going through. And so if I were to do a photo shoot right now, it would be like me just stepping into my truth of who I am and where I'm at right now. And I know that if I held that reason at the forefront of my mind throughout the whole shoot and used that as my inspiration. Don't use the models, the Victoria's Secret models as your inspiration. Don't try to, you know, emulate their poses or look like them. Like use your personal reason as your inspiration throughout that photo shoot. Um, so I would love to know what specific questions do you have? What are some specific in insecurities or challenges? that either you've had in the past or that you imagine might surface for you during the photo shoot. Um, drop them in the comments. I will definitely reply to them in the comments. And if it feels like there's a theme and if it feels like it would be useful for me to hop back on here or to send you some more information, I can definitely do that. Um, I'm also going to include either a link or if I can link the actual document, I will. Um, it's a document that I send some of my clients, my coaching clients called, it's all about how to work with the feeling of feeling fat. So when we have those thoughts of maybe you're looking in the mirror and there's this automatic, oh, I feel fat or I look gross or I feel gross or I feel yucky in my skin, that some of that negative self talk about your body. Um, I have a little document that kind of helps you work with that and provides some alternative phrases that you can use and ways that you can talk to yourself. So I'm going to include that as my little gift to you. Um, and then I will link a couple of the other resources I've mentioned um, in here. So hi, Leslie. Happy Saturday. Um, Latoya, the mindset work is so key. She's taking notes. Absolutely. She loves that book. I'm just now seeing. Holy moly, I'm just seeing these comments. Bring lots of snacks. Who has the time to be angry? I love it. Um, okay, great. Awesome. I will send all of this. Y'all are great. I'm seeing all the comments. Um, so honored to be here. Latoya and Kitty, they got you. They have got you. So use them, right? All right. Thank you. Goodbye.